show you how to work up my dragonfly garden afghan block. To get started you're going to need four to five colors of Lion Brand's Vanna's Choice yarn. You're also going to need a US I9 5.50 millimeter hook. For a first round of work I'm going to be starting with this mustard yellow color. We're going to start with a slip knot and then we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. That's going to count as our foundation chain and our beginning double crochet, these last three chains here. Now we want to work 11 double crochets in our foundation chain. So there's one double crochet. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Hold on, I dropped my yarn here. Okay, so nine, we're going to do here. Ten. And then eleven. So with our beginning double crochet, and those eleven that we just worked, we should have a total of twelve. Oh. Oh, I'm having troubles today. There we go. So let's just double check. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Now we can finish off this round by joining with a slip stitch to our beginning double crochet. And then we can fasten off our yarn. And that completes our first round of work. For our second round of work, I'm going to be using this light purple here. And for this round, we're going to be working in the spaces between our double crochets from round one. So insert your hook into any of those spaces and then we're going to draw up our light purple. Now this is our first repeat for the round, so we're going to chain one and then we're going to work a large cluster stitch in that same space. So to work a cluster stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have two loops on your hook and we're going to do that two more times. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have three loops on your hook. So we're going to do that one more time and as I'm doing this I'm also working over my tail so you don't have to sew those in later. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have four loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all four loops on your hook. That's our first cluster stitch. Now we're going to chain two, one, two. That's the first repeat. Getting started on our second repeat, we're going to work a cluster stitch in our next space between our double crochets. So right in here, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that next space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Oh, I lost it. Now we're going to yarn over and draw through two loops on our hook. So you'll have two loops still on your hook. Now do that two more times. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same space. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have three loops on your hook. We're going to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same space. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. You'll now have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through all four loops on your hook. Chain two. One, two. That's our second repeat. Continue repeating that around and I'll meet you 
at the end of the round. Here I am at the end of the round. Just to make sure, double check that you have 12 cluster stitches and you have 12 chain 2 spaces. Once you have the correct amount of stitches, you can join with a slip stitch to your beginning cluster stitch. If you look at it, right up here, it almost looks like there's a stitch in there. You can insert your hook under those two strands and finish with a slip stitch. Now you can actually fasten off your light purple. And that completes this round of work. Getting started on our third round of work, insert your hook into a chain 2 space and we're going to draw up some white colored yarn. Now we're going to chain 3, 1, 2, 3. That's going to count as our beginning double crochet. Now we want to work two more double crochets in that same chain 2 space. So one. Two. Alright, that's to get started for this round. Now I'm going to show you the repeat for this round. We're going to work three double crochets in the next two chain two spaces. So three double crochets in the next chain two space. There's one, two, and then three. Work three double crochets in that next chain two space. One. Oop, I snagged it there. Two. Three. Now work four double crochets in the next chain two space. One. Two. Three, four, chain two, one, two. Now work three double crochets in that same chain two space. One, two, and three. That's the repeat for this round. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you after you've done that. Alright, I just finished the repeating that around twice and I still have a little bit of work left to do. We're going to <clears throat> work three double crochets in our next two chain two spaces. So one, two, three, and then we're going to do that again in the next chain two space. One, two, three, and then we're going to work four double crochets in our next chain two space. It's going to be the same chain two space with your beginning three double crochets here. So four double crochets in that chain two space. One, two, three, four, chain two, one, two, and for this round you can finish off by joining with a slip stitch to your beginning double crochet. Now in the instructions this part here says that you can draw up a dark purple and this is where you would do your color change but I'm just going to make a solid white square today so I won't be changing my colors and I will not be fastening off my white. If I was changing to purple I would be fastening off this white. Getting started on round four of our work, chain one and single crochet in that same double crochet that you joined in. We're going to single crochet in the next 12 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, and then 12. Now we're going to do a single crochet V stitch in our next chain two space here. So we're going to work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that same stitch. So that's the beginning. This is the repeat for the round. Getting started on our repeat for this round. We're going to single crochet in the next 13 double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're gonna do a single crochet V stitch in our chain two space. So single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that same stitch. Now, repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you after you've done repeating that. Here we are at the end of the round. I just finished working a single crochet V stitch in the chain two space. Now to finish off, we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning single crochet. And that completes this round of work. Getting started on round five of our work, we're going to chain three, one, two, three. That's going to count as our beginning double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet in the next five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and then five. We're going to chain one and then we're going to skip one double crochet and then we're going to double crochet in the next seven stitches. So there's one double crochet, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Now in our chain one space here, we're going to work a double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and then work a double crochet in that same chain one space. That's our first repeat for this round. Getting started on the second repeat, we're going to double crochet in the next seven single crochets. So there's one, two, I'm trying to keep my work out of your way so you can see what I'm doing here, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Chain one, skip one single crochet, working in the next. We're going to work a double crochet in the next seven single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Now working in that chain one space, work a double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, then work a double crochet in that same chain one space. That's the second repeat. 
Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. I just worked a double crochet chain three and double crochet in my chain one space. And then we need to work a double crochet in the next single crochet. And then we can join with a slip stitch to our beginning double crochet. That completes this round of work. Getting started on round six of our work, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. That's going to count as our beginning double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and then three. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to skip the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip those. And then we're going to work a double crochet in the next six stitches. So one, double crochet, two, three, four, five, and then six. In our chain three space, we're going to work a double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and then double crochet in that same chain three space. Okay, so that was our first repeat. Getting started on our second repeat, we're going to work a double crochet in our next six double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip our next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to work a double crochet in the next six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then six. In our chain three space, we're going to work a double crochet, then chain three, one, two, three, and double crochet in that same chain three space. That's our second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here I am at the end of the round. I just finished a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet in my chain three space. And now we want to work a double crochet in our next two stitches. One, and then two. And you can join this round by joining with a slip stitch to your beginning double crochet. That completes this round of work. Getting started on round seven of our work, chain three, one, two, three. That's going to count as our beginning double crochet. Now we're going to work a double crochet in the next two double crochets. One, two. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And then we're going to work a double crochet in our chain one space from round five. So we're going to work a double crochet in there. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now we've skipped over a double crochet. We're going to skip over our chain five and then we're going to skip over another do double crochet here. And then we're going to be working in the next. 
we're going to work a double crochet in the next six double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Now in our corner stitch here, we're going to work a double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, then we're going to work another double crochet in that same chain three space. So that's our first repeat. I'll show you the repeat again. We're going to work a double crochet in the next six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, work a double crochet in that chain one space from round five, chain three, one, two, three. Now we've skipped one double crochet, then we're going to skip our chain five, and then we're going to skip one double crochet, working in the next, work a double crochet in the next six double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Now in our corner chain three space here, we're going to work a double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and then double crochet in that same chain three space. That's the second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. I just finished working a double crochet, chain three, and a double crochet in a chain three space on the corner here. And to finish off, we're going to work a double crochet in the last three double crochets. One, two, three. We can join with a slip stitch to our beginning double crochet. That completes this round of work. Getting started on round eight of our work, chain one, and then work a single crochet in that same double crochet we joined in, and then work a single crochet in the next two double crochets. One, two, now work three single crochets in your chain three space. One, two, three, work a single crochet in your double crochet, work three single crochets in your chain three space. One, two, three, now it says single crochet in the next seven double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. In our chain three space here. Let's see what we're going to do. We're going to work three single crochets. One, two, three. That's our first repeat. Getting started on our second repeat, we're going to work a single crochet in the next seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Work a 
three single crochets in your chain three space. One, two, three. Work a single crochet in your double crochet. Work three single crochets in your next chain three space. One, two, three. Now work a single crochet in the next seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then work three single crochets in your chain three space. Just need to get some yarn here. There we are. So that was one in there. Two, three. That's the second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end of the round. I just finished my second repeat with three single crochets in my corner chain three space. Now to finish off we've got to work a single crochet in the last four double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and we can join with a slip stitch to our beginning single crochet. Now if you're working the 12 inch block, which is the one I'm filming, we will be drawing up our master color, which is this white. So we'll stick with that. If you're doing the 10 inch finish, you'll want to probably change to an alternate color. So that completes this round of work. Getting started on round 9 of our work, chain 1, single crochet in that same stitch that you joined in, and then we're going to single crochet in the next 17 single crochets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. In our next single crochet we're going to work a single crochet chain two, one, two, and then single crochet in that same stitch. Okay, so that's our first repeat. Getting started on the second repeat, we're going to work a single crochet in the next 23 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then in our corner single crochet, we're going to work a single crochet, chain two, one, two, and then single crochet in that same stitch again. That's our second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are after the Second last repeat, I just did the single crochet, chain two, single crochet in my corner stitch here. And now to finish off, we need to single crochet in our last five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we can join with a slip stitch to our beginning single crochet. And that completes this round of work. Getting started on round 10 of our work, slip stitch into the next stitch, 
then slip stitch into the next stitch but this time we're going to draw up some green colored yarn chain three one two three that's going to count as our beginning half double crochet in chain one and then we're going to half double crochet in that same stitch Okay, so that's our first v, half double crochet V stitch. Now, for this first repeat, we're going to work a chain one, skip two stitches, working in the next, work a half double crochet V stitch. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch to make a half double crochet V stitch. Now we want to repeat that again four more times. So chain one, skip two stitches, half double crochet V stitch in the next, half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch. So that's two, we have three more to go, chain one, skip two stitches, half double crochet V stitch in the next. So that's a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch. So we've got that three times, we still have two more to go, chain one, skip two stitches, working in the third, work a half double crochet V stitch. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch. So that's four repeats, now we've got to do that one more time, chain one, skip two stitches, working in the third, work a half double crochet V stitch. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch. Chain one, we're going to skip one single crochet and then we're going to half double crochet in that chain two space. Chain two, one, two, and then half double crochet in that same chain two space. So that's our first repeat. We're going to get started on our second repeat. Now this time we're going to do eight repeats of doing this where we, okay, so our stitch pattern for this is actually a chain one, skip two single crochets, working in the next work a half double crochet V stitch. So there's a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch. So that's our first repeat on our second repeat around. You want to do that a total of eight times. So chain one, skip two stitches, half double crochet V stitch in the next. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch. So that's the second repeat of the stitch pattern. Do that six more times. I'll meet you at the corner. Okay, so we did that eight times, so you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight half double crochet V stitches with a chain one in between each of them. Now on the corner here, we're going to chain one, skip that single crochet. Now and then your chain two space in the corner, work a half double crochet, chain two, one, two, and then half double crochet in that same stitch. That's the second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So here we are at the end of the round and now we're going to chain one, skip two stitches, half double crochet V stitch in the next, so that's a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch, chain one, skip two stitches, working in the next, Work a half double crochet V stitch. So half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in that same stitch. Chain one. Now, before we join, you actually want to bring your master color to the front of your work so you can continue working with it. And we can now join in the second chain, which is supposed to be our half double crochet there. And you can fasten off the green yarn. That completes this round of work. 
Getting started on round 11 of our work, for this round we're going to be working in those skipped single crochet space stitches from round 9, working right over top of round 10. So to get started, we're going to insert our hook into the single crochet that's to the left of our last half double crochet v-stitch that we worked. So you can see our tail here that we finished off with and then our master colors coming out the front here. This is the last half double crochet v-stitch that we worked so we're inserting our hook into the single crochet to the left of that stitch. Now make sure when you do that that you don't go all the way through like this. You actually want to make sure that that round 10 is tucked behind your hook. We're going to grab our master color and draw it up. Then we'll chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to count as our beginning double crochet and chain three. Now we're going to skip the next skip single crochet. Skip your half double crochet V stitch. Working in the next skip single crochet, work a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Now I'm at the end of my ball so the next double crochet I actually need to do to bring in my new yarn. So we're going to skip that next single crochet stitch here, skip that V stitch, working in the next skip single crochet work a double crochet. So just adding in my yarn here. I'm at the end of my ball so there we go. Okay, so that's our double crochet. You don't need to do that unless you ran out of yarn too. Okay, so now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Skip that next single crochet. Skip the V stitch. Working in the next single crochet, work a double crochet. Alright, now let's figure out where we were here because we were supposed to do that repeat five times. So we've got one, where are we? That's one, two, and then we got to do that three more times. So chain three, one, two, three, skip that single crochet, skip the v-stitch, working in the next single crochet, work a double crochet. So that's one, two, three, so we got to do that two more times. Chain three, one, two, three, Skip that single crochet, skip the v-stitch, working in the next single crochet, work a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip that next single crochet, skip your v-stitch, working in the next skip single crochet, work a double crochet. Alright, so we've got that. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip this corner V stitch and then we're going to work a double crochet in the next skipped single crochet. So right in here, you know, oh, make sure you get the right one because there's two in there. Work a double crochet in there. And that is our first repeat. So now we can get started on our second repeat. The stitch pattern across the way. We're doing chain three, one, two, three. We're skipping this next single crochet. Skip your V stitch. Working in the next single crochet, work a double crochet. So the stitch pattern is chain three and then a double crochet. Now we want to do that a total of eight times. So that was our first one. Getting started on a second one. One, two, three chains. Skip that single crochet. Skip your v-stitch. Double crochet in the next single crochet. So that's our two times. We need to do that a total of eight. So do that six more times and I'll meet you at the corner. Okay so I've done eight of my stitch pattern on my second repeat. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chain three spaces across my edge. Now working in the corner, 
we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to skip that V stitch in the corner, making sure that you see those two stitches in there. We're going to work in the first one, work a double crochet. That's the second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Okay, so here we are at the end of the round. I've just finished my repeat twice and just have a little bit of work left to do here. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Skip that next single crochet. Skip your V-stitch. Working in the next skip single crochet, work a double crochet. Now chain three. One, two, three. And we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning double crochet. So the third chain of our beginning chain six is our double crochet. And oh, let me just double check this one. When you do this, you also want to make sure that you insert your hook under that chain one space from round 10, because this will just help join the work together. So you can join with a slip stitch, and that completes this round of work. Okay, getting started on round 12 of our work, we're in our master color here, so we're going to remove our hook, and we're going to put a stitch marker into our white here because we're going to pick it back up in round 13. So for round 12, we're going to be working in the chain one spaces of our V stitches from round 10. To do that though, we want to bring round 11, these, this one right here, the white one around the end, we're going to bring that to the front of our work while we're working here. I got some tails I have to sew in. Okay, so to get started, we're going to insert our hook into our beginning V stitch. Now, where our stitch marker is here, this is our last V stitch. This was our first one. So we want to bring round 11 to the front of our work and out of the way. Insert your hook into that V stitch and draw up your flower colored yarn. You can chain two, one, two. That's going to count as our beginning half double crochet. Now we're going to work three half double crochets in that same V stitch. So one, two, three. So four half double crochets in that V stitch. Now we're going to chain one, working in the next V stitch, making sure that round 11's to the front of your work. We're going to work a shell, which is four half double crochets. So one, two, three, four. Now, so that's the stitch pattern along the edge. We're, we've done that twice. We're going to do it four more times. Chain one, working in the next V stitch. I got some tails here from joining in a new ball of yarn. Just ignore those. We're going to work a shell in our next V-stitch, so four half double crochets. One, two, three, four, chain one, shell in the next V-stitch, so four half double crochets. One, two, three, four, chain one, shell in your next V-stitch, so four half double crochets. One, two, three, then four. Chain one, work a shell in your next V-stitch. So four half double crochets. One, two, three, four. Now where are we here? So we're going to chain one, and then working in our corner, chain two space. We're going to work five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and then five. So that's our first repeat. 
So we have one, two, three, four, five, six along the edge and then our corner piece there. So getting started on our second repeat, remember to bring round 11 to the front of your work. We're not going to be working in it. So you got to fold that down out of the way. Chain one and then work a shell stitch in that V stitch. So four half double crochets. One, two, three, four. We need to do that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more times. So chain one and then shell. One, two, three, four half double crochets for a shell. So repeat that across six more times, the chain one and then the shell, and I'll meet you at the corner. Okay, so I've done my shells and my chain one spaces across, and we're at the corner here. Chain one, and then work five half double crochets in that chain two space. So one, two, three, four, and then five. That's the second repeat. Repeat that around two more times and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Okay, so here I am. I just finished my second repeat. Did my corner shell with five half double crochets. Now we have two more V stitches left to work in. So we need to do a chain, shell in the next V stitch. So four half double crochets. One, two, I think I did my yarn wrong there. Okay, so two, three, and then four. Chain one, and then work a shell in the next V stitch. So there's one, two, three, four. Now, before you join, we need to do a chain here. We want to bring our master color. I'm just trying to figure out where it is here. Okay, so you want to bring this to the front of your work, the master color here, before you join so that you can continue working with it in the next round. Okay, so I've got that at the front and we're going to join with a slip stitch to our beginning half double crochet. Now you can fasten off your rose colored yarn and that completes this row of work so you can see it here you've got the white in the front and we're done that round okay so we're going to get started on our last round of work round 13 and we're going to insert our hook back into our master color so we can remove our stitch marker here insert your hook back into that and we're going to chain one now we're going to work okay so I'm just reading my work here it says work a single crochet in the beginning double crochet from round 11 so this is our beginning double crochet from round 11 and we also want to work it in the chain one space from round 12 so back in here. So to work that single crochet we're going to insert our hook into the double crochet and the chain one space and we're going to work a single crochet in there. Okay so that's our first one. Now we're going to work two single crochets in our chain three space from round 11. So this is our chain three space. We're going to work two single crochets in there. One, two. Now we're going to single crochet in the next double crochet from round 11, but we're also going to insert our hook under that chain one space from round 12 to work that single crochet. So I'm going to get these tails out of my way here. I probably should have woven them in. Now they're out of the way. Okay, so now we're going to repeat that around until we get to our corner. So work two single crochets in that chain three space. One, two, then work a single crochet in that double crochet, making sure to insert your hook under the chain one space from round 12. So keep doing that, two single crochets in the chain three space, 
single crochet in your double crochet and chain one space from round 12. Two double crochet in your next chain three space. One, two, single crochet in the next double crochet and the chain one space from round 12. Now you want to make sure that you work under that chain one space because when you do that it actually holds the last round of work otherwise it would just end up looking like a mess. This helps keep it all together. So we're going to keep working until our corner. So two single crochets in our chain three space single crochet in the double crochet and under the chain one space from round 12 two single crochets in the next chain three space single crochet in the double crochet making sure to insert your hook under that chain one space from round 12 okay so here we are at the corner to work your corner work two single crochets in your chain five space one two. Now we're going to work in our center half double crochet. We had five half double crochets here. Working in the center one we're going to work a single crochet v-stitch. So work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that same stitch and then we're going to work two more single crochets in that same chain five space. One and two. Getting started on our second repeat, we're going to single crochet in the next double crochet, making sure to work under that chain one space, single crochet twice in the chain three space, single crochet in your next double crochet, making sure to work under that chain one space, work two single crochets in the chain three space, Continue working that across until you get to the corner and I'll meet you at the corner. Okay, so here we are at the corner. To work your corner, work two single crochets in your chain five space. One, two. Now, we're going to work in our center half double crochet. We had five half double crochets here. Working in the center one, we're going to work a single crochet v-stitch. So work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that same stitch, and then we're going to work two more single crochets in that same chain five space. One and two. That's the second repeat. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we are at the end. I just finished my second repeat. To finish, we're going to work a single crochet in our next double crochet, making sure to work under that chain one space. Work two single crochets in your next chain three space. Work a single crochet in the next double crochet, making sure to work under that chain one space. Work two single crochets in the next chain three space. Now you can join with a slip stitch to your beginning single crochet and then you can fasten off and that completes the dragonfly garden afghan block. For more crochet patterns, tutorials and yarn shop please visit my blog at dearestdebbie.com.